Well, welcome back to It Six. As a parent, when you send your kids to school, you expect that they'll be kept safe. WGEM's Blake Salmon is back from Keokuk, where schools are working to keep kids safe as they start planning for a district-wide infrastructure overhaul. Blake. Guys, that's right. Today, two, t two architects toured a number of different Keokuk schools. School officials say once they know what each school needs, they can start putting something together for a master plan. And they say student safety is one of their top priorities. We really want to provide the best learning environments, but also a safe learning environment. The architects touring Keokuk's schools say there's a number of ways to do that. And it's really important uh, to make sure that you have adequate coverage and that the perimeter of the building is, is properly secured. Tom Folds says he focuses on the more technical aspects. The things that I'm looking at are card reader locations, um, door monitoring to make sure that if a door is jammed open that there's a way of identifying that door. Uh, camera coverage to make sure there's adequate coverage inside and outside of the building. Josh Ridgely says the building's layout is equally important. Uh, when visitors come to the building, you want to be able to control their access into the building. He says it's something older schools struggle with. You know, all exterior doors are locked and then there's one single point of entry for pretty much all visitors that come into the school facility and they check in with somebody. Superintendent Christine Barnes says today's tour of Hawthorne, Torrance and George Washington is only the start. They'll also be looking at the middle school and the high school, as well as the new central office location. As the district looks for ways to improve, Barnes says it's important community members make their voice heard. So I think that that's a very important part of the process. It really helps us to understand um, from, from a variety of views what's working well, what's not. Now, Barnes says money won't be an issue as voters already approved a levy increase earlier this year, and that'll bring the district nearly $700,000 each year for the next 10 years. Blake Salmon, WGEM News. Blake, thanks so much, and you can read more about the levy increase on our website at WGEM.com. The Marching Blue.